In 1811, Avogadro observed the relationship between volume and moles of a gas. The volume of a gas is directly proportional to the amount of gas in terms of moles. This simply means that an increase in the moles of a gas will result in an increase in the volume of that gas. And vice versa, a decrease in the moles of a gas will result in a decrease in the volume of that gas. Furthermore, we can divide both sides by moles and get the ratio of volume over moles. This ratio always equals some constant. We'll call that constant D here. Recall, gases depend on pressure, temperature, volume, and moles of a gas. Let's assume the pressure and the temperature are constant. This ratio must always equal a constant. Thus, if there's a change in the volume or moles, the product must remain constant. This is called Avogadro's law. Let's do an example. A 24.0 liter tire contains 0 0.90 moles of nitrogen. Nitrogen is added and the final amount is 1.15 moles. What is the new volume of the tire? The initial and final moles of nitrogen are given in the problem. The initial volume is given in the problem, and I'm looking for the final volume. Pressure and temperature are not mentioned, so I'll assume that they are constant, and I'll use Avogadro's law. I'll multiply both sides by N2, and N2 will cancel on the right side. This leaves V2 by itself. I can insert the initial volume times the final moles divided by the initial moles. This gives me a final volume of 31 liters. This makes sense. More moles of gas are added, thus the volume increases. Volume is directly proportional to the moles of the gas.